Okay, what is the state's long-arm statute? So, in a previous video, we gave an introduction to the requirement for personal jurisdiction and that in order for a state court in a civil matter to establish personal jurisdiction over someone, they have to serve them with a summons. Okay, they have to give them notice that the individual is being called into the state. Now, anytime someone is physically present in, the, in a state, they can be uh, served with a summons and, and uh, subject them to personal jurisdiction of the court. Now, if, however, the person is outside of the state, all states have what's called a long-arm statute, which allows under limited circumstances for the state to send the summons to another state to be served or delivered to the person. And if it's served or delivered in accordance with that long-arm statute, then that person can now be called back into the state issuing uh, the summons and, and subjected to personal jurisdiction of that court. Now, all, all long-arm statutes are limited by the Constitution. That is, their 14th Amendment due process right that is equal and fair protection under the application of the law. Now, in this situation, it would be unfair to allow any state to pass a statute that simply is too broad and says, Anybody that we want to serve with a summons, we can just bring them into this state and subject them to our personal jurisdiction. That would be bad. People could file actions just to harass people. Say I'm in Georgia, I could file an action in state court against somebody in California just to bring them back here uh, so I could sue them in this court. Now, the limitation to prevent that says that in order for a long-arm statute to be valid, it can only allow the service of summons outside of the state and calling people back into this state if the individual being summoned has minimum contacts with this state. Okay? Minimum contacts with this state. And if the statute goes further than that and allows service of the summons outside of the state against anyone who does not have minimum contacts with the state, it's unconstitutional. Okay? So again, that law would be ineffective for bringing an individual back into the state. So with that being said, the individual being brought into the state must have minimum contacts. This means that they did a sufficient amount of business in the, in the state to justify subjecting them to jurisdiction. They committed a tort in the state that was the subject of our dispute. They entered into a contract in the state or carried out portions of a contract in the state that's the subject of dispute they could live in the state or be a registered business in the state in any of those scenarios um, it's constitutionally sound to bring those individuals back into the state uh, and subject them to personal jurisdiction of the court